Hartlebury, established in 1892, but as a boys' school in, in that classic English tradition. And it um, remained that way for a long time, um, a small boys' school until around the 40s uh, when it started to grow. And it's really been an expansion process ever since that time. Currently, three and a half thousand students on three sites. Its major driver now is academic excellence and we work very hard towards achieving academic excellence and continue on that mission. When Derek Scott, the current principal, took over, he, um, he expects some concern and wanted to improve the technology in the school. And um, a few of us visited some terrific iPad schools in uh, Queensland and, and we came back convinced that was the direction we should head and um, Derek Scott was supportive of that and, and we moved into a, an iPad trial. In essence, 20 iPads in a classroom, it must work, was the mandate that was placed down by the senior executive and we were convinced uh, unconditionally that the existing wireless infrastructure would not uh, support that particular endeavour. We've really expanded the the program from our initial trial which had a thousand devices which was a large trial in itself um, up to now where we are today with nearly 3,000 iPads uh, plus all of the phones and, and laptops and things that we already had um, and they're all running on the one network without any issues. The iPad's got some massive advantages in over uh, desktops, laptops in that it does have that uh, no boot up, no shut down, instant. Um, it's uh, easy to use, uh, complements the other uh, methods of learning, with paper and pen, teacher instruction. And so it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't have to be something that dominates the, the classroom or dominates the desk or dominates the, the, the student's um, use of technology. We don't place any restriction on the applications that are used in the classroom. So teachers are free to use whatever they feel is most appropriate for the lesson that they might be delivering that, that day. Um, and Apple's platform has hundreds of thousands of applications and, and we use those resources to, to deliver the best content that we can find. The key, uh, I suppose, improvement is engagement. And you, for example, you can go into a science classroom, you can see everything from data logging on the iPad to simulations of experiments on the iPad to accessing resources which graphically illustrate things that couldn't be normally illustrated. So delivery of uh, material is enhanced, but, it, but the key thing is engagement is enhanced. Kids can see things as they really happen through the iPad and they can happen very quickly. It can happen personally. It doesn't have to be up on the screen. Each kid can watch it when they're ready. So I think it's, it's more about the engagement of the kids and the quality of material they can now access. What's been really exciting is that we can now deliver almost everything into the classroom electronically, um, from textbooks to learning materials um, to even just pulling resources off the internet. Um, it's all really easy and, and the iPad and, and the wireless network has, has really enabled that for us. As we move to deliver more content online, uh, students are certainly taking advantage of, of covering more material at home um, and that 24 hour connectedness enables students to be in contact with teachers and if they're having trouble with their homework out of hours, no longer do they have to wait until the following day to, to get feedback on that. They can actually do it using their iPad while they're at home and, and get feedback straight away. Some of our teachers are using apps like Explain Everything to, to, to flip the classroom for some kids so there's cases where um, you know, the content is delivered at home uh, and the kids are working on more, um, I suppose, analytical tasks at school. We're also looking at expanding our, our iPad program potentially into other areas of the school. Um, at the moment we're only running it from year 5 to 12. The future is bright and we, we really believe that we've got the foundations in place now to be able to do what we want without having to make any significant investment.